Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to install Gmod with RTX. Um, there has been some requests for an updated version of the tutorial, things are now easier, um, the game runs better and things are a lot less broken than they were a few months ago. So the first thing you want to do to get started is you want to go to these three links I have in the description. Uh, there will be three download links. One of them will be this applypatch.py, you're just going to want to save that. One of them will be this link to the Bridge Remix Actions tab. You want to click the, the topmost one with a green check mark. Make sure it has a green check mark. Uh, click into it, scroll down, and find the one labeled release. And you're just going to want to uh, save that to your downloads. And the other one will be the same, it will be DXVK Remix, also the Actions tab. Also find the one with the green check mark, click into it, scroll down, yet again, release, and just save that somewhere. Make sure your Gmod is not set to the 64-bit beta. The 32-bit version of Gmod works a lot better with these patches. Next, what you want to gonna do is you're going to want to open Steam and find Gary's Mod. You're going to want to right-click on Gary's Mod, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. This will open up the folder of your Gmod install. So what I recommend is I recommend you copy this folder and you create a duplicate of your Gmod install. This is optional, you don't have to copy your Gmod folder, but I recommend you do just to keep the RTX version away from your regular Gmod install. Just name it something like Gary's Mod with RTX, then you want to double click into it. So first off, out of the files you just downloaded, you're going to want to go to Bridge Remix and you want to grab everything in here, just copy it to your clipboard and then you go to Bin and paste it. So then after that, you can go to your DXVK Remix zip. Just copy everything in here, and then go to the T-Rex folder that you just pasted in from the Bridge Remix zip. Paste everything from the DXVK Remix zip into the T-Rex folder. So next up, you're going to want to apply the patches. Copy this Python file to the root of your Gmod install. That's the folder with hl2.exe. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to click on the URL bar. In here, just type cmd.exe. So now, after the command prompt opens, simply type python apply patch.py and type a dot afterwards. Doing that should create the patched folder. Go into the patched folder, copy everything in there, and simply paste it into the root of your gmod install, replacing the files if it asks. So next up is a bit of an optional thing. If you have Portal with RTX installed, there's a couple of DLLs we can use to make the game more stable. Simply head over to Steam, right-click on Portal with RTX, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. In here, go to Bin, and find these files. You'll want to find STD Shader DX6 and STD Shader DX7. Copy those files and head to the Gmod Bin folder and just paste them, overriding if it asks. So next up, using the link in the description, you'll have to go download the launcher script. Once you have the launcher script, simply just copy it into the root of your Gmod install, which yet again is the folder that contains hl2.exe. So now your game will be almost ready to go. There'll be one last thing you'll need to do, which is to go to the workshop link in the description containing this add-on and subscribe to it. This is just a bunch of miscellaneous fixes to make RTX run better with Gmod. Now after that, Create a new text document in the root of the Gmod install and call it dxvk.conf. Click yes if it tells you to change the file name. That's what you want to do. Right click on this and open it with notepad. Once this file's open, inside the file, you need to write d3d9.shadermodel, capital M, equals zero. This is important to make the game run properly. You'll need to do this step. Once you've done the dxvk config, you'll want to go to the link in the description that contains the rtx.config. Copy this over and just paste it in there. This isn't really required, it's just a way to skip a bunch of annoying steps. So now, after all that, we can finally launch the game. Just double click the launcher script and then wait for the game to load. We can test things out by starting a new game and heading over to the GM Construct RTX map. This is a fixed version of GM Construct that works better with RTX Remix. The original map does work, but it has a couple of issues like the 3D skybox being above the map, which isn't ideal because it casts a giant shadow everywhere. Once in game, you should see that RTX Remix is working. If it's not, simply follow the tutorial again and look for any steps you might have missed. 
If you still can't figure out the problem, leave a comment and I might be able to help you. You might notice that the player is visible. This is intentional, and it's a part of my RTX Remix Fixes add-ons. Simply open the developer menu, go to Game Setup, Categorize Textures, and right-click on the player. You want to mark the player as a player model texture. Only do this for your own player. Make sure you get everything, including these little eyeball textures. They're really annoying. You'll want to do the same for the weapon too. Just mark the weapon textures as player model textures as well. The reason why you need to do this is that this allows the player to cast a nice shadow and also show up in reflections. Graphical issues like these are detail textures. You'll want to ignore them in the remix menu. Open the remix menu and hover over them. Right click them and if it's a black and white texture like this, simply mark it as ignore. Once done, you'll want to save the config. Now everything should be working, and you should be good to go to start installing RTX Remix replacements to make the game look nicer. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, there will be links to the RTX Remix Discord and my Discord in the description of the video if you need help, um, and yeah, thanks for watching.